All right, what is up Twitch? It's Mark here with the Rad Computers Computer Repair Stream, and I just got chewed out by my mom for cussing so much. Totally. Sorry, mom. Parental advisory. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, feel bad I am. I am. <laughs> That's why it's up there, mom. This isn't this isn't for the viewers. This is this is my mom. This is my mom's advisory. Adult language. <laughs> she said, "A word of advice: tone down the language." <laughs> All right. So anyway, we'll keep the swearing to a minimum, and we'll only unleash it when it's absolutely necessary. Like on this fucking MSI that has driven us crazy. We know it's a V-Core problem now. Thank you, Tim Herman. We just talked about this. So, we know that this is a V-Core issue and he has graciously decided to take a look at it, even though he adamantly swore on Facebook two months ago that he was done looking at PCs. He was tired of not having schematics. We're gonna send this to Tim. We're gonna cross our fingers and pray. Cross our fingers and pray. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. All right, and let's see, before I can do that, I need a screwdriver. which I had one, and now I do not have one. Is it in my pocket? Yes, it's in my pocket. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish putting this thing back together. It's funny because I remember this thing being a pain in the butt to try to do, but... keeping the RAM on this side. I don't want it on the other side. It's annoying to try to get to that stick if it ever goes bad. And she is right. And we will be checking... We will be checking the thumb drive that I have set aside for darkest um, and I will be shipping it to him uh, most likely tomorrow after I get done with my BNI meeting which went to today I went to go sub for somebody else at the Paragon chapter in Scottsdale and oh my god they have 74 members it was ridiculous 25 seconds to give a weekly presentation. Luckily, we have been doing our presentations in 30 second increments, so it wasn't much of a change for me. I was in and out, and oh man, it was just, it was nuts. It was nuts, just glorified nuts. Ugh. So, okay, I need to make sure that this is on correctly. Well, that makes that easy, I guess. There's only so many times you can take it off and on before the plastic starts to crack, so whatever. Um, that will actually be a pretty good candidate for glue. 
This is an M2 three screw. Double checking to make sure there's not any screws that I might have missed. <laughs> Truck nuts. <laughs> screws are in place. Let's go ahead and start this gelling process back together. Alright, where did this snap at? Okay. I got some pretty good referral partners today, which was good, which means we'll be even busier. All right, let's hold that together for about a minute. I started watching this YouTube channel last night of this Russian. This Russian is doing the micro soldering. He's teaching you how to solder. <laughs> He's very good. And I like his channel a lot. It's entertaining just because of his accent. But he's really informative and he talks slow enough that I can... He's not like other YouTubers where they're like talking a million miles an hour because that's what everybody on YouTube does. Um, he's just taking it nice and easy and he's instructing. And I showed Brittany and she liked his channel. And so I think I'm going to start watching that and we're going to learn how to micro solder together. Oh my god, it's super epic, baby. I got this front, like, Currently I have her redesigning... I have her redesigning her thing inside of The Sims, basically. We are... I'm making the... I'm making our I shop. I wonder. Our, our she's, she's making the shop so that we can redesign it without having to move all the furniture around. And it is pretty much like... Just like our shop is creepy. <laughs> Oh my god, I can. Honey, we can set up a broadcast for you to do broadcasting to Twitch and to me at the same time. Yeah. And then I can capture the feed and then I can display it on chat using Mob Crush. Oh man. It'll be delayed, but I mean, that's better than nothing. Oh my back. Okay. Alright, awesome. So... I'm just in a good mood because there's at least something that's being done on this machine. <laughs> yep, this is the gaming laptop. I'm gonna be shipping this to Tim and he will take a look at it. Tim is a prodigy in the micro soldering universe. Oh my god, 
we even have our car parked in the, in the same spot that we park most of the time. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, this one is a longer screw. This one laptop is long screw, need longer screw. <laughs> Seriously watching the Russian guy for like way too long last night. In Mother Russia, we, we micro solder. <laughs> Back then, 13 years ago, we thought we were the shit. <laughs> yep. I have not called MSI yet. We're sending this to Tim Herman first so he can take a look at it. I'm going to be shipping it out uh, to California first thing tomorrow. Or if I can get out of here by 6, then I'll ship it today. And Tim will look at it. We know it's a V-Core issue, thanks to Tim. I did not know that about V-Core problems. Seriously? Yeah. The original problem was actually the battery just wouldn't charge. So they'd already swapped out the batteries, they'd already swapped out the chargers next thing in, in the line is DC jack. The DC jack was pretty jacked up, so we replaced it, and then we replaced it, it wouldn't turn on anymore. Thank you, MSI. It's, it's an annoying problem, it really is. Where did the fun go? Need big fun. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Jump in the line. Watch the body. Okay. Work, 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 and Sonora. Still missing a layer. Rad computers, this is Mark. 
I'm well. Hey. Yeah, what happened? Okay. That's okay. Okay, can you try it again, like, now? <laughs> Same card and everything? Um, give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, provide my credit card information over the phone, so I muted the mic.
the bottom of this case was already cracked when it came in. I'm just trying to minimize the size of the crack. I started using super glue gel for plastic pieces. It works decently well, but you do have to hold it together for quite a while. Two surfaces have to be held together for like about a minute. It's good for small cracks. It's not very good for holding uh, holding anything in place. Holding uh, hinges in place, in other words. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that this is all that's left. I know there's a couple of screws that I was looking at and I was like, it looks like a screw goes there. Such as all these areas right here. It looks like screws go there. Hey, Katie. How are you? It's a short one. Gotta hand it to MSI. It takes a real group of idiots to decide not to use the same fucking screws everywhere. <laughs> I'm really only pissing off the technicians that work on this. Average Joe consumer isn't gonna try to get into the laptop to make any changes to it. Nobody wants to do that. It's it's literally the technicians that tell people to stop buying your stuff. So if I were designing a laptop, I would make sure that it was as tech friendly as humanly possible. I would want a technician to open it and go, oh my god, that was the easiest laptop I've ever opened. But oh my god, it's like, it's created so well, like it's it's never actually going to break. You should keep buying these. I'm looking at you, HP. Uh, yes, it's right here. But I still don't know how it goes. Like, I literally... I don't know where this freaking thing came from. We'll still be doing that stuff. Camo managing, complaining. All that stuff is still gonna happen. You ain't gotta worry, Antoine. I'm the same old G, I just hate a lot more companies now. <laughs> Give me just a second. I gotta try to put these screws back in.
guess the only ones that we're missing now are the longer ones. Uh, I think I'm in such a good mood because of what Tim told me yesterday when he said that this problem happens to a lot of the Sky Lake and Cabby Lake processors and it wasn't so much what he said but it was my realization that I've had this problem a lot in the past two years which is when Sky Lake and Cabby Lake started coming out and now I don't feel like this is my fault now I just feel like it just happened to be <laughs> I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time basically <sighs> I've been good, Katie. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Brittany said hello. looking at it and I was like wow that's a weird looking battery it looks like a laptop battery if it looks like a laptop battery it talks like a la laptop battery it sounds like a laptop battery it must be the rear cover it's kind of weird because this rear cover doesn't have I mean like kind of a weird a weird thing is it doesn't I don't know it's hard to explain it's hard to explain what I'm thinking about sure that those are supposed to be by fives and these are by threes. Always be the case, right? Like you design, virtualize your own your own stuff first. I miss you too, Katie.
Hello. Sushi bowl. Hey, what's up, Blacho? Hey John. Hey buddy. Hey, sorry, I'm still waiting on Billy, buddy. That's okay. Yeah, she um she had to do eight more courses today. They told us she could do it from home. Mm hmm But we don't have a computer, so she had to go to the library and do it. So she took off a couple hours ago, but I guess she has uh, five completed, so she just has three more she's finishing up. Okay, no problem. Alright, cool beans, buddy. Alright. Alright, see you later. Cool. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I, I didn't. I wanted something more, but it looks like a fucking intestine. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I thought too. I don't know. I ate it. It's chewy. It's like a like a plant of some sort. Yeah, that's what I thought too. The rest of it's good. That's fine. I got a giant mouthful of it without knowing what it was, and then I was I was like trying to maintain my composure on stream. Oh my god. What I oh that's why that cracked. Okay. That makes sense. All of his case pieces over on the side have just completely <sighs> completely dissolved. That's why. Oh, wow. oh, I forgot about the hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, right on. That's no problem, Katie. Corner ones might actually be longer than 0.5. They might be 0.8s. So they don't feel like they're going down all the way. Just kind of why I like this I fix it kit. Oh no, never mind. It was the same length too. Hmm. One thirty three in the morning. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's back together. Luckily. Hey, Andrew. Okay. It's all back together. Still doesn't charge, or charges, but still doesn't uh, still doesn't turn on. Oh shit, baby, you need to show me this so let me see here. You need to show me a hey, that is good news though. So the battery actually is taking a charge now because it's turning on the the fans and stuff. Which it wasn't doing before, it was just completely dead. So we left it on long enough for it to actually take a charge, but we know that the V-Core isn't working, so it can't process anything, and that's why we have to ship it out. So we will ship this out to Mr. Tim Herman at TCRS tomorrow, if not today. I'd like to do it today, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. Uh, 
Okay. Now we can start getting back to our regularly scheduled programming. Which does not involve so much swearing all the time. Mom. Special occasion swearing, it was this computer's kicking my son's ass swearing. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, Okay. I haven't been able to get a hold of this guy. Like, his phone just suddenly stopped working. Super weird. Um, there's a laptop for Jen that needs to be reassembled. so nice to get that computer out of the way. She's not wrong about this looking like intestines. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's like weird. Yeah, that's creeping me out, yo. I'm not eating that. I had I had taste it. You guys can at least give me credit for that. It's I not bad. It. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just a weird texture and like, it's a flavorless texture and I can't handle it, I can't handle it, there's just too much going on, I can't handle it, I can't handle it. Alright, so you confirm that the battery is charging with it? Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. So this one actually, because it has this, because it has the screw, uh -huh. should just be able to screw it in. Oh, it has the screw still in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, how nice! So it just kind of chipped off, you know, the edge there. It was really all that happened. Well, the old, the old one, yeah. This is uh -huh. the new one. Right, I know. The old one did. Just so. that black chip came off the. Is that really Correct. what? Just that was it. That's the whole reason why. That's so disgusting. That just tiny piece of plastic. 
Yep, but we're, <sighs> what you're going to want to do is they have a uh, adhesive on here. Right. So you're going to tape Spread the adhesive to the board so that it doesn't move as much. Set that in place like that. Tiny screw. I wonder, Katie, are you still hungry after seeing the intestine looking <laughs> It's kind of disturbing. Okay, we don't have to use a proxy or proxy or whatever. Correct. Yay, well if I saw that, I would have just done it myself. Well, I can do the rest. Let me just make sure that this goes on the correct side. <laughs> the red stuff is, um, it's spicy pork bulgogi. Alright, so we have a, we have a motherboard that's on order. Thank you. We have a motherboard that's on order. And the board is supposed to be here. It says Thursday. I know it wasn't delivered today. So it'll be here tomorrow, looks like. I'll just send a text text message update. screen that we're waiting on, which was ordered also from eBay. This one has to go through customs, so it made it through Ohio. Actually, we have to have one of those PCs out because I'm going to order a graphics card and we're going to use it as a demo for Endgame. He's gonna come by, we're gonna throw a hard drive in it that has some games on it, he's gonna test it. And then if he proves it, then we'll make 30 more of them. What? What do I do? I need your keys. Give me your keys for What do you need my keys for? I need to sit in the car. Okay, so the next thing is we're doing a MacBook 2015 data transfer and I think this is my new MacBook data transfer tool. Seriously, WTF, man. 
god. Where are you keeping? Honey, I don't know. I'll be back. I'm just gonna sit in there for a minute. Where's your key? It's in my purse. Start putting it in your pouch. Okay, so... I had to order this. It's a $90 tool. $90! Thanks, Apple. Literally looks and feels like a chocolate bar. Comes with its own screw container. Or a screwdriver, I mean, screw container. Not sure which way we should try to pull it out. Pro, I think that's supposed to be Retina, 2013, 2014, 2015 SSD reader. Now what's interesting is that I have a bunch of readers that look like this one, but none of them fit correctly. you have to buy for Max is just un freaking believable. <sighs> See, I have these. It's the same thing, but then it won't read in my tool. You gotta put it in something else. Hey, yo, I heard that. What's up, Helton's Computer Repair? Thank you for being here on the Rad Computers Computer Repair channel. It is good to have you here. Thank you so much. So, anyway, these converted into um, a drive type that I don't have, and I used to have an external reader for it, but it's just too much of a hassle. I'd really just rather plug it in via USB-C and then call it done. What's interesting, though, is that there's a DC jack on here, but no actual DC jack. <laughs> so, or no, I'm sorry, no adapter, no DC jack. Derp. Cool. Blame my bunk hand for that. This is the hand that I had the surgery on that I was holding the screws with, so... Blame, blame the hand. <laughs> blame the two fingers at the end. I did see where the screw went. Ta-da! Screw. Okay, where did that follow originate from? It originated from Twitch. Thank you. Okay. That's kind of weird. They want you to assemble it yourself. <laughs> they couldn't just put the standoff on there for you. You literally have to assemble it yourself. Phenomenal. Love it. Love it. It's like my favorite thing to do is put together puzzles with no instructions. No picture. No picture to know what it looks like. We just, we just do it. True story, I used to put together puzzles with my mom. Jigsaw puzzles. 
we started off with the 200 range and by the time I was seven we were doing a 2000 piece puzzle and it was fun it was hard and then we were about 86 I'd say we were between 85 and 90 percent done and guess what happened my little cousin Charlotte and her mom my aunt Melda came by and Charlotte just starts jumping all over the puzzle because we were doing it on the floor on these two big poster posters because we had like this really weird carpet back then dude she destroyed our two we were working on it for two months she destroyed it oh man I was pissed so pissed so anyway we're going to try to capture the data from this drive really don't need the shell for it but it is nice to have it does fit just like the other ones do uh, uh. it's not really going anywhere so I'm not gonna bother screwing it down and I probably won't bother putting it back into the case just because it's a tool you know we're gonna use it like this for the rest of its life Oh yeah? Do you like it? And yes, it is an expensive candy bar looking thing. Right on. Thank you, Darkest. No, that's okay. You you got the address off of the Yelp or our website or whatever? Cool. I trust you. I found I also found the 128 gig um SanDisk drive. I actually plugged it into the computer. Alright. Cool. Alright, you heard it here first, folks. Do 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 do. Oh yeah! <laughs> Have you ever used it? I'm just curious. I still use mine quite a bit. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go to screen mirroring. You should be able to see a disk drive here. This is MUSB device. Or it could be this one. I'm guessing it's probably this one right here. Right on. Good. I'm glad you're getting some use out of it. And I'm going to assume that this is using APFS. Brad Computers, this is Mark. I mean, if it's if it doesn't produce anything faster than what the internet could have shot, I don't really care. I was just thinking about something desktop, and then maybe get three monitors or something, two or three. Yeah, it should be compatible with at least two monitors. Um, I think it'll do a third as well. Okay. Um, what um, what's some kind of bare bones cost for, uh, on that level? Like what they're getting? The first guy he was for Adam. So what is his? Uh, what's your cost? Uh, I will tell you. Give me just a second. And so that one was seven seventy eight thirty two. Okay. And what are the ones for Rob and Steve costing? Those are those are about roughly twelve hundred each. Holy mackerel, 
so what is the difference? What are they getting that's so different? Uh, they're getting larger hard drive space. Um, they're getting double the double the RAM. Uh, a couple of other things. Okay. Uh, beefier, um, beefier processor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's the form factor? What's the case? How big is the case? It's a mid. It's a mid ATX, so it's the same size as the one that we built for Adam. I hey. Seen that one. Yeah. Give me just a second. I don't even know what. Uh, it's it's about the size. I'd say it's slightly larger than a big shoebox. Okay. Can it be separated, like put on the floor? Yeah, I guess it could, right? I don't want it. I don't want this thing taking up that space. Yeah, I mean, if you want, I can build you one that's really small. Yeah, I prefer the smallest form factor. I don't see the point of having. Okay. No, I can. I can case. build. I can build you one that's tiny. Yeah. And I can. I, I can get that. you a. Is that extra money. Um, I can get, well, so I can, it'd be, the the base unit for that is about $25 more than the one that we built for Adam. Okay. Um, that's fine, I don't, I don't care if it's as long as it's, whatever the smallest form factor is. Okay, and then if you want, we can, we can get a, an extra mount for it, so you can mount it to the back of any VESA compliant monitor. Oh, really, so you can mount it, because I was thinking, how would I, okay. Yeah, yeah, that might work. I get a, yeah, I wonder, uh, how big, how heavy are they? Um, it would weigh, it would weigh about as much as a, sh as a, as a shoe box. Okay. With, with shoes Five in pounds, it, sorry. Yeah, it'd be about, okay. it'd, I'd say so it'd be about four pounds, right, yeah. So you just hide, you hide it behind a monitor? Yeah, uh-huh. And how, how much, how, how wide is that? How much, how far do I have to pull that away from the wall? Like how much, I, I, I'm done. So it's about the width of a cell phone. Um, and so. It's the width of a cell phone? Yeah. Oh, and it's the size of a shoebox. That, that's tiny. Okay, so this is one of a couple cards. Or yeah. Is this your cell okay. phone number? I yeah, can I, I can send you a link to our Instagram where you can see it. Send me a, yeah. Send me a link so I can see it. So, okay. Yeah, I'll probably end up ordering one too. So, do we have a we established an account with you guys yet? Um. Yeah. We've got. Well, I mean, we always require payment up front for the computers. We don't really do invoicing for new builds. Um. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's. We get them pretty, I gotta find out if they're gonna make me pay for this and reimburse me or just pay for it. So I don't know. I gotta see what they want to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to send me? I'll give you my email. It's, um, no, that's okay. It's I'll, my I'll, name I'll, just, and then I'll, I'll Yeah, I'll text it to you. Oh, text me a link. Okay, perfect. All right, awesome. Let me. I'll look at it and uh, give you a call. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. My Bye. pleasure. Bye bye. Give me just a second. I've got to check with Colleen that just walked in the front door and I need to send him a link to the tiny computer that we built on our Instagram. So give me just a second. Let me go find it real quick. Be a, I'll be up there in a second, Colleen. Ah, right on, Sork. Okay, give me just a second, guys. I gotta finish this up real quick. I thought I had pictures of it on our Instagram, but I don't, because I haven't been posting to the Instagram. Let me see if I can send him these images real quick.
Almost done, Colleen. Just gotta download these three photos real quick. All right, be right back, guys.
does not equal, equate reality. And reality is potential. The potential is infinite. And we can make any reality we want. Okay, and we're back. <sighs> Sorry for the delay. Just a second, I'm really hungry. Serena? Mm-mm. Commercial management? Mm-hmm. Alright guys, give me just a second so I can do something on my machine and then we'll continue. You have to set up Mob Crush, and then I have to set up an RTMP server uh, on this computer to stream into. Ooh, I want to see you set that up. It's. I'm pretty sure I already have one set up. Good to see you, Sork. <coughs> Haven't seen either of you guys in a while. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to trying to do a data transfer from this drive. This doesn't look like it has APFS on it or the drive is damaged, which would really make me mad. It might not be an APS, so let's run HFS Explorer. All right, hooray. So it's an HFS format, so I didn't waste the <laughs> I didn't waste my money on buying a part that was not gonna do anything because his computer got wet. Pretty wet. So let me see if we have a drive to put everything on. Kinda need to see how much space he's using. waiting for it to finish calculating the size.
Really shouldn't take this long. <coughs> it's taking this long because we're running on the whole volume. And really, we just need this one right here. Three gigs. So what we can do is we can put it on either a thumb drive or a external. I don't know if I have a thumb drive that's 128 gigs, except for the one that I've got for darkest. Hmm. Let's use that one. Because, darkest, I want to make you a metal one. I was thinking about it while I was looking for it. I was like, man, I should have made him a metal one because it'll, it'll be a lot better for you in the long run. So there shouldn't be anything on this drive. We're going to format it, and we need to make it XFAT. And we'll just call this one rad backup. We're formatting an XFAT so that we can actually write to it <clears throat> while having Mac read it. Because if we format it as NTFS, Mac will read it, but he won't be able to save any anything to it, which makes it effectively useless. all these Adobe Illustrator files that are just sitting in the middle of this fucking area. Eh, we'll just grab the whole thing. We haven't started copying, we haven't started the data copy yet.
food was good, but I can't get the lid back on. Now that I'm done with it. What'd you break? I got another computer that the computer heaven. Oh my god, what happened? Desktop or laptop? This is one of the oldest laptops. It's not a new laptop. It's one of the older ones. So it just keeps restarting on you? Yeah. Alright. Um, I'll swing by tomorrow morning and pick it up. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Alright, see you tomorrow. Alright, bye. bye. Alright, one second, guys. Okay, could not create file. Skip the file. Ah, if I have to keep doing this. I think I think so. Yeah, just give her a call. Let her know. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So hopefully it starts transferring without any problems. Looks good. Let me move this stuff out of the way. need to make sure that I don't accidentally run over this. Okay, let's have a look and see what's next. Alright, so the data transfer is going. Let me text him and let him know the data transfer is um, underway. Being a pain in the ass, keeps asking for stuff. Okay, so. This one for Elon. Hey, is that Dell done? No, I, I gotta look at it, but I mean, I was just gonna screw this in real quick. I know it's priority, but I'm gonna do this 
No, no, I'm talking about the Dell that you're working on. The Dell, in, the Dell that we did the DC jack in. Oh, that's what I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay, so she's working on it right now. It's almost See if I ordered a battery for this laptop. It's a Toshiba L755 S5311. I would have ordered it within the past two months. So. I know I ordered this battery, but I have no idea where it is. I honestly don't even know what it's supposed to look like. So we'll just have to get another one. It sucks, but that's the way it goes. We're still awaiting this screen right here. This was ordered from Amazon. It's for Lenovo. Bring it over here, let me take a look at it. Or maybe the cable's uh, pushing it up. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to tuck the cable underneath that screw. I'm gonna try that and then feel the part will bring it over. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, I tapped it, but now it's in the way of the screw. 
Alright, I'm closing tickets left and right. Just give me a second. Okay, we have a computer that we need to do a data transfer on. Two to one. <clears throat> From two drives to one drive. This is a brand new Dell, it has not been set up yet. It even smells brand new. Brand new Dell XPS, 8th gen Coffee Lake. I don't know if the new user setup has been done yet. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to check Message this customer right, real quick. Okay. once you get it get it right. But I, this is where I tucked the very thick cable out of the way and I managed to screw it in without it, you know, underneath without it being above. And I thought maybe that was the problem because the cable was so thick pushing up, but that was not the problem because it's still not working. So you can't get it to screw in here? I can't get it to screw in there when the cover's on. Let me see. See the screw? because it doesn't go there. Uh, I'm confused. Brittany's having a problem screwing into the top right hand corner. This one is actually well, it's supposed to be a black screw. Okay, I have that, but I, then, I had that there originally. Yep. But the thing is, is that I thought this was supposed to screw down into that hole. No, you're supposed to have a post here, and the post is missing. I said I was doing a new, a new mistake, and it ended up being a post missing. Okay. Yeah, she's been screwing it over and over and over into this. She's been trying to screw it into this, which looks like, you know, when you're putting the lid on, it almost looks like it would be that hole, but... Yeah, there's nothing there to screw into. That's why. Okay, so why is it there? The post is supposed to go here. Oh, this, the you don't have yeah. a post, right. Okay. Right. Alright. So, not my, not my fault. It just got damaged that way. 
Right, no, I know. It's it's fairly common with these. Be amazed at how many of these DC jacks we do. Alright. Well, once I get really good at them, you can just assign all DC jacks to me. I just need to get once, practice. Once Mike comes by with all those other soldering projects, you're gonna be a pro at doing basic soldering. Shut up, that's scary. Shut up. I'm gonna call him right now, actually. Just a moment, guys. I'm gonna call a customer real quick, and I'm waiting on this customer to provide the password before we can continue working. Let's see here. Hey Mike, it's Market Rad. Not much, man. I got um, I got my helping hands in the uh, soldering thing that I needed. So, okay, okay. How'd those other five go? They work okay. Okay, awesome. Yeah, whenever you're ready, you can bring me as many as you want, and I'll, I'll have Brittany crank them all out. Okay, sounds good. Yep, my pleasure. Alright, bye. Cool. You've got some soldering projects on the way next week. Really? Yep. practice on that thing? No. No, this will be good practice, because it's just, it's just wire soldering. I'm scared. Good. You need to be afraid of the tool that burns you. I know, and I'm afraid of multimeters. Mostly because my corporate environment instilled a very weird scare tactic with multimeters. So now I'm just like strangely like way too overly cautious about them. Still waiting on this computer's password to be sent over. He's sending them right now, and I'm I'm trying them, but none of the passwords he's sending are working. I also really don't like the way this keyboard feels. It feels like a butterfly-style keyboard. Oh. Is she even bringing a doctor? Hell, I don't even, I don't even know if I've seen her ticket. 
Alright, so this computer is brand new. It's never been it's never been touched really. Who? The XPS? Yes. For Elon? Yes. Um, I'm not sure he took, I'm not sure he brought one. Really? Well, we need a better one that- Actually, you know what? No, I think he did drop it off. That might be the one. All right. Let me know. Bolts, yeah. What What's the amperage? The amperage I don't know, and I have to open it up to look to know because it's on the fucking battery itself. It's annoying. Unless I look at the specs, like online. Like I looked at it yesterday. I just can't remember the exact amperage, but it just said warning that's too low. So I'm not gonna fuck with it. Annoyed you remember the fast way to wrap it, right? Around the brick? Yeah, I've been just kind of like wrapping it separately and putting them together. Here, let me see it. I don't know, it's really, it's really bad at the end. That's okay. Yeah. It's never too late to show people, okay. the stream viewers, how to how we wrap the thing for the smallest space. Because I guarantee you he didn't wrap this, I did. Alright, so you're going to take your charger, you're going to hold it up and down. And then you're just gonna start wrapping it along the brick, along the brick. You're gonna run out of your power cable, then you just keep wrapping the That's other what one I around. I do by instinct, but I don't do that. The power cable, I get nervous with it, and I start doing some weird wrapping mess. But you just gotta keep now, it. Now, normally, they should provide you with one that's long enough to go around yeah. this whole brick, but they don't. So, what you do is you slide it off. And that's what I keep mixing up, that is that part, what you do right here. Okay. And, that's and you then you just wrap it around okay. that part. Alright, well, I don't know where <coughs> specifically the Dell XPS uh, power adapter is. Find out what, I yeah. I was testing it yesterday with one, and I don't know, I should leave, and I have no idea what happened to it. Find out what amperage it is, uh, and we'll, we'll look for one. Up again. No. Honey, it's on the bottom. No, it, you would think. It's underneath the XPS no, logo. Six point six seven. Yeah. At nineteen volts. Yeah. This was nineteen volts, but it did not like the fact that the amperage was too low, of course. So. That's a hundred and twenty-five watt charger. That's gonna be a bigger a looking big charger. Box. Yeah. yeah, bigger adapter. No, big Dell power adapter. Let me see. All right, let me check these two drives real quick so I can see how many profiles he has on each one. We're still doing the data transfer from the Mac. Yes, it's gonna, it's gonna be a newer looking one. Yeah, log into it and make sure it charges. Okay, turn it back on. With the proper power adapter. I was like, I had it here yesterday. I was like, everywhere, but not on the floor. It fell all the way to the floor. Cool. Happy day. Alright, let's see if it charges all the way, but it looks like I know it shouldn't take long. 
Ah, oh, shit. I need an adapter to go from USB-C. I need a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Which I do not have. Fuck. All right, give me a second, guys. I gotta see if we have a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and I don't think we do. have one. Let me call Staples real quick and see what time they close because if they close at 7, I've got to grab this thing tomorrow. calling I can just log in real quick Staples isn't known as the office supply store anymore now it's known as the print marketing store now they close at 8 all right that should be fine I can leave here at 7 30 then okay I'm supposed to get these fucking pictures. USB-C adapter. Might as well get two of these since Here, it's going to be pretty common that we need these coming coming up soon. Um, this is the one that I told you to put back together that's sitting over by your cup. Okay. And then these two are done. Yeah, I'll take care of these two. Thank you. Okay. Alright, what else do we need? See you, Katie. Ooh, you know what? That's a good point. We should uh, we should take a look and see if the computer has a bit locker on it already. Nope, doesn't look like it. The hard drive would have a lock symbol on it if it did. Is there anything else that I'm always constantly bitching that we need that I don't have? Yes, 
Probably some floor cleaner or something. <laughs> a vacation in the Bahamas. That's exactly right. Hey, divide. I had an idea for the front computer that I could do um, a long HDMI cable. So let me check and see if I have enough ports in the back of my machine so that I can do that. That'd be really nice. Just found a bunch of our business. Oh wait! Just found a bunch of our business cards. These are the last ones from the last batch of 5,000. Cool. Get rid of all the junky ones. So I should get a display port to HDMI adapter. So get one of those. <laughs> Both of those are great. All three of those are great suggestions. We'll stick with vacation to the Bahamas for 500, Alex. <laughs> We have paper towels, glass cleaner, floor cleaner. I've got plenty of drives right now. I've got plenty of Q-tips. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this on order. Okay. So I've got two adapters that are on the way right now, which is great. Um, I've got one drive that has one bit of information on it, and now let me check the other drive real quick. God, this data transfer is turning into a data recovery because it's a very manual process. It's annoying. Cool. 
All right. Oh, you know what I need? Just some USB-C charging cables. That's what I need. So we'll let this one charge. Your order can't be canceled. Next one is going to be a fresh installation that we need to do. I'm just going to set this computer aside until tomorrow, just because it's it's needing to be charged up anyway. Next one is a compact piece of shit. streaming in 1080. Looks good. Now, this one I've already tried cloning several times. Um, started this one several days ago. It's just not cloning correctly. So we're gonna do a fresh installation and a data migration for Miss Ernestine. Probably give her some more RAM too. I think it only has two gigs. Yeah. This laptop is a bona fide piece of junk. It was brought in because um, her start button wasn't working, and so I knew it was going to need a fresh install anyway, but I mean, I can't even get it to clone for three minutes, 
it literally fails almost 30 seconds in every single, it's a 250 gig drive from 2011. Are you fucking serious? It's not, and it's not her fault. Most end users don't know that when your computer's running slow, it's the fault of the drive because the salespeople at Bad Buy don't tell you, hey, your drive is gonna start acting slow in a couple of years. When it does, you need to come back and, and have us replace the drive so that it doesn't become a situation where you're pending losing all your shit. The peons at Bad Buy just decide Oh, let's make the sale and not inform the customer, huh? So that's the situation that she's in now. It's not her fault. Make sure we transfer the container. <laughs> two gigs. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's two gigs. We'll give her another two gig, get her up to four. She's ran with it this long. A solid state drive and, and two gigs of RAM will make this thing faster than it's ever been, hopefully. It's got a shitty processor in it, too. It's one of those kinds of computers where Somebody brings it to you and you just cringe at the thought that it was even made. Back in the day when laptops were easy to get the drive. It's a 2 gig 10600. She's already balking at the price, so I'm not going to try to sell her a 4 gig. I'm just going to give her a 2 gig. Two gig. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Four gigs. Enjoy it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Compact. Ask a kid today, they don't even know what compact is. You calling me short? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Who's this one for? This is for. Ah! It's a desktop that we're gonna be working on here in a little bit. Uh, this computer's so old, there's no UEFI mode, so there's no point in switching my thumb drive over. It does have VGA out, and I do have a VGA to HDMI adapter somewhere though, which would be nice to use right about now. It should be on the ground somewhere. 
Let me see if I can find it real quick. Ah, yep, it's plugged into... A very long string of adapters. How many adapters can you chain together and make them work? 18. 24. Shut up, bubbles. All right. The reason why I know that this should output to VGA is because VGA is an analog signal and it should be outputting all the time, but it might be controlled top of that laptop. This is Mark. Hey. Okay. Okay, so un just right click that device, click uninstall, and then reboot the computer and it should re-add it. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So your your Ethernet your Ethernet one is your that's supposed to be the adapter for a hard line. So if that's if that has a little Ethernet cable coming out of the back of it, which looks like a um, looks like a phone cord, then you're not gonna get internet on that until we reinstall that, that um, until we reinstall that adapter. Now, is that a manufactured computer or did somebody custom make it? So it's like an HP or a Dell or something? Okay, let me text you. Um, let me text you from a number and I want you to send me a picture of the model number of it so I can look up the driver and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll link you I'll send an email to your email address with the with that driver, and then do you have like a, a flash drive that you can download it to? This drive is really bad. This drive is really bad. Okay, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll get it taken care of for you. That's yeah. No, 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 just leave it that way, and then. Um, I'll text you and then I want you to send me a picture of the model number of that HP and then that should be good. It, it'll be on the top or the side. Product number. Okay. My pleasure. Bye bye.
The one that you're on right now? The yoga. yoga. The yoga? Is that the small one? Yeah, no, we, we know that drive is effed. It, it, the ticket says to put it back together. The ticket inside of the system, honey. I can't log in. I told you a thousand times you need to log in. I can't have, I have access to shit. I haven't updated or looked at shit. I just look at tickets that are floating around the office. Okay, that's fair. I th and I think these are the screws okay, to it. Into the Lenovo? She's not having us fix it. It's it's too old. It's the Lenovo Yoga with I an inch. I think I'm holding them. Drive. I think I'm holding them. <laughs> yeah, give me a second and I'll I'll bring them over to you. second guys to get this one out of the way too for a while. <sighs> and, <laughs> Still, I took her screwdriver. Let's see how long it takes for her to figure it out.
Okay. Okay. I don't even think it's a Turion X2, to be honest with you. Yep, <laughs> it is an AMD C50, I remember reading it. Yeah, I'd rather have a Turion X2 from 2006? 2007, I think it was? 2008? Than to have an AMD C50 from 2010. Screw kit did come in handy this week, absolutely. Hopefully I won't need it moving forward because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my desk. I'm gonna put this monitor, I, the monitor's gonna stay here, the computer's gonna stay here, but I'm gonna take this monitor and move it over here, put it in front of me so that I can see it, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be lit AF. You know, home G Dog Dizzle. And then um, I'm gonna clear off this back area right here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so that I can set up additional stuff if needed. Okay, so while we're waiting on this one, we might as well just keep the ball rolling. Let me message her and let her know that the it can't be cloned.
All right, let me see here. We've got a Lenovo Yoga 73015IKB with a virus that keeps getting a pop-up in the middle. There's busy icons, is how she described it. Okay. Yes! Yes! This computer was brought to us with mention of viruses. Don't know for certain if that's what's causing this problem, but... To work on. It does have a cracked screen down here, let it be known. So it went straight up onto my onto my shelf and has not been looked at until now. Alright, battery is dead. Computer is a slow piece of shit. Okay. All right, so it really doesn't look like she has much installed on this computer because there's nothing in the background. Oh, there it is, the Cigar, the Cigarazzo antivirus or whatever. Hey, 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 come back up, how dare you. These same symptoms I've seen, um, screen going black and all that jazz, that has happened before, and the Seguizaro antivirus is to blame. Came in with one updater, handsy tools. <sighs> We've seen these before, fellas. Get a visual for you guys, it doesn't suck. Huh. 
Huh. She doesn't have a graphics driver installed. It's reported problems. do is we'll uninstall this and she's got a bite fence infection this is the exact same infection that we had with another computer that we worked on the other day like two weeks ago all right oh, I can't use my thumb drive yet because it's installing Windows the C50 is Oh, that's okay. We'll do a manual uninstall real quick. One updater. Guizarro antivirus which is a virus yeah bite fence is super common It's supposedly legitimate, but I've never met a user that actually knew where they got it from. They just say it was on their computer one day, and they, and they bought it or whatever. Cool. Like Alright, SS option. This is also a virus. Or potentially unwanted program, I should say. Might have to restart in order for this to take effect. There's the bite fence. Alright, we'll go ahead and restart it real quick. This is why I was hoping to use my thumb drive to avoid this situation. John. Hey, what's up, dude? Yo, how are you? How come? I'm good. Do a PC accelerate. They screwing you around with the with the loan again? No, I. Yeah. So I was supposed to have that thing to go through today. Yeah. There's like a time period, so I have to wait like a certain amount of time, and that time is on Monday. Okay. But Monday's a holiday, so I have to wait till Tuesday, so... Well, you're not going to go anywhere Monday anyway, so it's really just like waiting until Monday anyway. No, I have a big problem. What's the big problem? I need... I gotta go to that dealership tomorrow that I bought my car from. Mm -hmm. And remember, I was paying off on the down payment, so I had a really big down payment. Yeah. So I gave him payment, so this week I... Actually, tomorrow I owe him. The of the <laughs> oh shit. What the flip, man? This is weird. And what sucks about that is tomorrow he's releasing my BMW. So I have to show up tomorrow. But I don't have to because he's already releasing my BMW. But no cash at all. So he's letting me take it. Right. 
because he wants to make more money off of it. He knows right. he's not going to be able to sell. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> Hmm. What? This is getting creepy. Um, doing a virus removal on a computer. Most viruses, they don't creep around in the background now. They try to get your credit card information. Um, people create them themselves, yeah. Like this one right here, this IP cap or whatever. Huh? Yeah. It's all good. I used to work at SiteLock, believe it or not. Oh, really? So my job was to sell um, security, like uh, internet security, uh -huh. website security. And I didn't have that on So they gave me a script, so I would just sell it. <laughs> That's when you know you're good. I know nothing about computers. Alright, let me start this uninstall and I'll walk up there in a second. She almost murdered this box yesterday. Yeah, so that we can. Well, yeah, and then we're gonna rearrange everything in the game, and then we're gonna rearrange everything in the. Uh... Hey, look how weird this has gotten. Hey, your favorite card? Hold on. Favorite card? Oh, Sam, that's a hot card. I'll smoke that. I was gonna buy a G37 yesterday, dude. Yeah. I almost had it approved. Yeah, it was so soon.
Right on. Okay, give me just a second, John. What was that? Um, yes, but not until I know what I'm doing with it first. I talked to a guy about getting um, some uh, shatterproof glass overlays and I need to talk to my um, I need to talk to my landlord about um, maybe taking it out of my rent yeah okay In just a second guys I gotta finish up this real quick and then start a data transfer I don't think I have any delivery. Well, you know what? Let me try to call this one customer. I've been trying to get a hold of her. She owes me 250, and uh, she need to pay what she owe. <laughs> no, um, she's just hard to get a hold of because I think she works at night. I'm trying to remember what her name is. Oh, I remember. Okay, yeah. Let me call her real quick and see if I can have you take it to her real quick. No idea. She dropped off to the Scottsdale store and then I brought it down here myself a long time ago, but... My daughter started preschool today. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, she went to orientation today. So we did the orientation. She loved it, man. It was hard to get her to leave. <laughs> No, you're good. I gotta leave a voicemail. Give me a second. Hi, Joan. It's Mark again with Rad Computers. I hadn't heard from you in a while, and I've still got your machine. My courier is here. I was just wondering if you wanted me to have it couriered up to you. Thank you. Stopped at the gas station midway, man, and I had three dollars left. Oh, no, it was so small. <laughs> it was fun. I don't know what the hell is got no calls today. None, no. we've been really slow, too. I've had a couple of drop offs, but like in all actuality, it it's been pretty dead for me for the past couple of days, which is nice because I was able to 
get these shelves put up and everything and they're ugly but they work not yet that's why she's designing the shop in the sims we're going to rearrange the whole store in the sims virtually and then we're going to rearrange the, the actual store to match it i got a call about those yeah yep that should be going away soon dude this program is just not coming out Alright, we're gonna rip this program out. I'm gonna give it one more chance. I mean, it looks like it's gonna uninstall, but then it doesn't actually do it. Alright, idle buddy. Piece of shit. Engineering Group Inc. product. Bring on the Revo uninstaller. That's a mess right now, huh? He's holding it together. I think he's doing good. You think he's doing good? They have no antivirus security on this computer. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's This lady read the messages that I just sent about having her computer for over three months. Oh my god, what? <laughs> because she has a Samsung phone and it told me she read the messages. So it's not like, it's not like she's not seeing them, you know what I'm saying? Hi Margaret, this is Mark with Brad Computers. Um, give me a call about your computer, thank you.
Well, right now I'm not worried about the price. I'm just worried about the investment. That's what. Like, you'll, you'll get Great as a free style. He's, he's swamped. Right? I talked to Brian the other day about this computer. It's fun. Creating what I what is a very right? Yeah. 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 I started my business piggybacking off of another business, which is exactly what you're doing. I started my business working out of Best Deal in Town, selling TVs, and every customer that mentioned that I was selling to, I would say, hey, I also fix computers on the side. I'm really good at it. If you need any work, you can bring them in. I'll do free diagnostics for you, and um, I'll fix your machines right up. And so people started coming in, and I had a guy from California, he was only in for a couple of a couple of days, and I fixed his computer really fast. And he left me my first Yelp review. Yeah. And then it disappeared. I was pissed, <laughs> yeah. And then it came back, and when it came back, somebody else, I had already had a couple more people that left me some reviews, and I reached out to my friends. I was like, yo, can you guys leave me some reviews if I've done some work for you? So I'm trying to get my business started. And um, I had a lot of people that were, willing to do it but Yelp has a detection algorithm yeah. that detects whether or not you are asking yeah. for reviews if you have a new a mailer and you email all these people at the same time and then you get a flood of reviews they they, yeah. they nullify them and so it was um, it was a headache man it was a it was a climb but after about from the time I started my business to the time I left best deal in town it took about eight months for me to start reducing the number of hours that I was working at Best Deal because I was doing an 80 hour week. So then I started putting 50 into my business and, and 30 into Best Deal and I just kept crushing the number of hours I was doing at Best Deal down into nothing. And the day that I quit was Black Friday 2014. I was and I had only been coming in like once a week and they were like yo you think you can come in on Black Friday and I was and I thought about it and I was like do I really want to wake up at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning to sell TVs to people when it's freezing outside I was like nah I'm I'm busy already I gotta I gotta be places to set up stuff for people on Black Friday and then that was it that was the last time they even asked me to come in then I was working out of my house all the time you know because people were dropping off at Best Deal and I would take it home, then I'd take it back to Best Deal to, to for pickup. Yeah. And then I just had them I was I was like, alright, I'll just go straight out to you. So I was going out and doing all the on site stuff, but then I started getting my schedule filled up so that all eighty hours in a in a you know, a eighty hour work week were getting filled up, but work was still coming in and I was gonna miss it unless I made a change. So then I was like, Alright, now you all gotta bring it to me. Yeah. 
to my apartment. So I wrote a paragraph of, in, of instructions on how to get through my, my apartment complex. It's hard to find me, dude. Yeah. And I started texting it to everybody, everybody, whenever they need it. And people started dropping off to me. I'd still do business service calls and stuff, but my Yelp reviews just kept going up. And then um, I joined I joined BNI after I had my business going, dude. If I had joined it before, it would have been so much easier. So, so much easier. Because Yelp is basically word of mouth referral and that's all BNI does. Yeah. It was hard. Gotta figure it out, man. I gotta get more customers. I'm gonna talk to them about it tomorrow to see if we can pay for half of a half of an induction, ten dollars a person. But think about I'll this. Huh? I'll figure it out. Think about this. When your cards come in, you can come in to our visitors day and you can and you can distribute your cards and even if you don't join, just from distributing it that way, you will get business. Yeah. You'll get a lot. No, with the cards it's gonna help so I'll be able to count pavement around here too in this area and just like count pavement and get businesses and be able to leave a card behind. This is nuts. Yeah, and you and I still need to go see Bud together. Yeah. Open mark, man. I'm taking a chance, man. And I got, I got a lot of kids. I hope it works out. I hear you. I've got just as many mouths to feed, but they're just animals. <laughs> yeah, I got animals too, man. I got the kids and animals. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my stupid dog ran out yesterday, the day before yesterday. Mine ran out yesterday, dude, too. It was really? annoying, dude. My, no, mine's gone out two days in a row, man. They, the kids would leave the door to the gate open, and then the in-law came in. My mother-in-law came over a couple days ago, and she let the dog out. And my dog will not let anyone catch up, so you kind of just got to give up and wait till he gets thirsty, and yeah. he'll come back home. But he's so fast, dude. You know what? I do have a computer that I need. I, I'm probably going to need courier to this lady tonight. Okay. Oh, where's that though? It's got to be nearby. She didn't go very far. Okay. Let me uh, let me call her. Um, just give me a second. I got to get this file created for this other customer real quick. Dude, I I was here until midnight yesterday working yeah. on one computer. I was ready to fucking slam my head into the table and just call it quits. Yeah. I've got to ship this computer to another, to a soldering specialist in California to look at it because it died. It came in because the battery wasn't charging. It worked fully, fu fully well. And then I listened to what he said. I figured it was the DC jack. I had a soldering specialist take the DC jack off and, and I put a new one on. I, I know my work was perfect. I know his work, the guy that took it off, the work was perfect, but then the computer wouldn't turn on anymore and it's a $900 motherboard. And so I'm responsible for that. Yeah. So I'm like, shit, I gotta, gotta fix it. dude, I was, I was crying. Dude, yep, I was mad. And then, so I messaged this, he's a friend of mine on Facebook and I was like, yo, I'm having this problem on this computer and I know you don't look at PCs anymore for board soldering, but I need your help. I was like, this is a $900 board. I literally cannot afford to, to do this right now. Can you come into my Twitch channel and watch me live stream this and I'll tell you everything that I've done. He's like, it sounds like it's a V core problem. And then he messaged me on Facebook and he was like, if it's a V core problem, I'll look at it just because it's a V core problem. And I was like, all right, thank God. So I'm shipping it out tomorrow. Yeah, man, I was, I was hurting. I was hurting really bad. <laughs> I was so scared. But even if he doesn't fix it, dude, even if he even if he can't fix it, just knowing that he's gonna look at it makes yeah. me feel a lot better. Because I've been working on the same computer for over a, over three weeks now. I had to wait for a part from China, man. There was no availability for his part, the one that we put in. God, I was so mad. Fucking livid over it. <sighs> Am I stopping you from doing anything? No, 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 no. 
You sure? Yeah. All right, give me a second. Got you. She's had a few bumps. No, I get it. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for this to install real quick and then. I'll do this data transfer on the one that needs to be delivered. It took it took three hours to assemble these two shelves yesterday, dude. I was gonna have some like regular Joe Schmo try to do it, but it took so long. That I'm really glad I, I had the guy that came by to do it. Oh, I wanted it, I needed it done like ASAP so I could start organizing. Yeah, otherwise I would have I would have taken you up on the offer. I'm I'm busy. I got to get John out of here. Not because I don't like his presence, but because he he's got a family to tend to. I can tell. I know that feeling. So okay, so this is installing the antivirus real quick. I'm going to start this data transfer for this customer. I'm gonna have to do this off camera, guys, just so I can get John out of here real quick. You guys can watch the antivirus download and install. Being a weirdo. <laughs> Do you see with your third eye? <laughs> God, this computer is so slow, guys. This AMD C50. It's just gruelingly slow. Without reason. I just did. Shut up. I'm already done. And <laughs> Do you know what my current balance is, John? Yeah. I just added the other one to it, so I didn't want to give it up. What's the hardest part of your day? As far as... What weighs on you the most? Now let's see what's new from Windows. I don't know. It's just, it's just my, it's, I'm just catching up on things. Man. I'm just catching up on bills. I'm so, I like very punctual, man, so I start freaking out, you know what I mean? Like I was super freaked out so much. That's how she my, is. My my Verizon bill today, and I called Verizon, and I didn't want to call them, but I called them, and they're like, "Hey, it's 
So it's like, you know, all my bills are here and I'm extending stuff and, and I have nothing like a uh, plan. Like I'm not used to that. Like I usually have a job and I'm working and I go to work and I got a paycheck so I'm not worried about it. So pay. Right now I'm living day to day. So I'm just like hoping that I get enough business throughout the day to be able to get by, you know. But that's why I feel like I get selfish out because like as much as I want this to work, I got to also think about the kids. And it's hard to like, I don't think people will like really understand our four kids. We've got one on Similac. You know what you can't assemble on? 20 bucks. How often do you have days, to? Can't assemble on. For how long? Every three days. What? What's it for? Jesus. Diapers, dude. I got two kids in diapers, so I go through fifty dollars of diapers a week. Right. Diapers. Right. So that's expensive, and then they're all eating food now. So that's a lot of food. Like it's hard, dude. Like making it off a little, you know, a couple of deliveries a day doesn't cut it. So like. I had this big plan where I was going to be able to like go to work for two months and get a bunch of business and put together a business plan and work out all the kinks and, and then I was going to take it and try to get people to invest in my business, share it, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm not like, uh, don't need it all for myself, like people will help and will invest and will share the business and whatnot. It didn't work out like that. So now I'm like right. in a situation where I'm like, okay, I'm already invested this much into this. Can I afford to stop doing this now? and then start getting back into work, that's not going to be feasible for me because I can land a job right now. I can make a phone call and I can have a job. But I'm not going to see a paycheck for two weeks or three right. weeks. You know, it's not, it's, I'm still going to be faced with the same problems and challenges I'm faced with today. So it's like, it doesn't make a difference. Right. So like right now, I'm just caught up in this little like, this little storm right now where I'm just trying to get by and I'm taking out loans. Like I haven't taken out any loans because it's been hard to get approved for them, but it's like I'm in this cycle just trying to get by day to day right now until all the other pieces start flying into place. Like mm -hmm. this paycheck and then like I got enough business where I'm making like 60 bucks a day, 70 bucks a day. When I get to that point, I'll be okay because then I'm making like uh, at least a minimum wage a week, you know, if I'm pulling in like almost done now. We just need to right. get you know, I, mean, like, I, I could survive all that. So, Looking forward to helping out. But that's the scary part is like right now I live every day just hoping I get enough business. And what's scary is the last four days I really haven't had any calls. Right, yeah, I haven't so, either. Like, it's just it's been like dead and like it's it's scary. You know? It's because of Labor Day holiday is coming up. You'll you'll notice that there's gonna be cycles. No, it has to do with me, Mark. It's it's me that I didn't pay my Yelp ads so the business calls slowed down. Um I stopped doing the Google ads, so I stopped getting like Google calls and people that see ads. Um that stuff costs money, you know, and if you don't pay that stuff, then you're just back to regular old, you know, sitting at the bottom of the list or wherever, however it works. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do SEO. I'm not like, I don't either. Happy. So I'm not, you know, I'm not able to like do that on my own. So it's just like, when I had the ads going and the Yelp ads and stuff, I was getting more calls, but I can't justify paying that much for ads versus the amount of business and what I charge for my business. It doesn't make sense. So even though I was getting calls off of Yelp ads, there's no point in paying it because I'm losing more than By having the add up. Gain. So yep. it doesn't make sense. Yep. So really what it boils down to, man, is really gonna boil down to me just like really be patient and just trying to get out there and talk to people. A lot hey. of grassroots marketing, word of mouth. Just hey, Del Fancy, thank you for the follow. No, no, you're good. No, there you go. Here's here's my idea. Your and my business cards are coming at the same time, and I didn't get to give out any business cards when I went to Paragon today. Oh, you didn't have any ads? Nope, I just found oh, them like an hour ago, dude. So when I get the new business cards, I'm gonna go back to Paragon, yeah. and I'm gonna give my business cards away while I'm there. 78 members, dude, there's a lot of people over there. I had five people come up to me afterwards and they said, can I get your contact info? You got a business card? And I was like, no. I was like, no, I was asked, I was, I'm out of business cards and I was asked to sub over here. I'll come back with business cards when I get them. So why don't you plan to go with me to the Paragon meeting? It's at 9.30 in the morning on a Wednesday and then we'll, we'll do the visitor's day in September. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, all of your headache will go away. You just get two more well, customers yeah, like me, right. huh? Remember, man, I'm trying to like stay on this because I, I can't, I can't go. Like I can't 
can't have like deliveries coming from all over the place because mm-hmm. that's just like me right now. That's why I've just been trying to like build like if I could get like honestly dude if I could get like you on where you're on board but like Greg on board start mm-hmm. using me regularly if I could get like the TV shop over there that's like perfect for me because it's like all in this area and then I could probably get a little bit of work every day and that'll justify me being able to get a driver and say hey I got enough work for one driver on this side of town that'll keep him work you know busy for a few hours a day mm-hmm. this just gives me the ability to get out and then I can move freely to other areas and then as I sew up another area and really like get it locked down with a few customers just the same way I did it on this side of town then I can put another driver and that's kind of like my mindset of how I've been well, you may wind up in a situation where, like, best deal in town, Tempe, everybody from all over will drive all the way out there to go buy a TV because they hustle on Craigslist. Right. They post everything on Craigslist, everything on Facebook Marketplace, so they could have people that come in from anywhere in the valley. Yeah. And if a business is using you as a courier, you may wind up coming out here to grab something, but you may wind up taking it yeah, anywhere. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's from people to drop off, so they'll all be heading out. Mm-hmm. But this is like the hub, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get that. Uh, I used to drive all over the valley. I I know that whole that whole feeling. <laughs> yeah, I know it very well. God, this computer's a piece of shit. How did she even use this thing? But I don't want to plan ahead, Mark. I just want to take it right now. I'm just like one. I just got to get through tomorrow, and then after tomorrow, it'll be a better day on Friday. Yep. And then it'll be a better day on Saturday. Dude, that's how it was for me. When I left Best Deal and I didn't have an actual paycheck coming in, I was paranoid all the time. That's how I am freaking out. I was like, "Am I going to be able to make my rent?" <laughs> and it. I mean, it always came through, but and that was me by myself. I didn't have anybody with a secondary job or anything. It was just me by myself in my apartment. So I was, I was paranoid. And, I, and at the time I- It different with your job though, dude, because I, I spent all day on a computer and all I made off of it was $250. And I worked on it all day. That's a hell of a good day. So <laughs> I spent $250 to work my ass off all day. I, I were painting and I would work 10 hours a day in 115 degree weather, I was hanging off of ropes on the side of a building painting ledges, and I take home maybe $130 a day. Jesus. Yeah. So I would like, I would have mind working on the computer all day long. Well, back then I was charging $70. Yeah, there you go. 99 cents a mile, then. Basically, yeah. Which is why I'm telling you, you gotta increase your pricing. I just got to do this data transfer real quick, and then... Does she need it tonight, tonight? Well, she said she's getting on a plane tomorrow, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her, so... I don't know. I hate it when people tell me, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, and then you get it done, and then you can't get a hold of them. It's like Fired? ingrained in now. You're stressed, man. That's what it is, dude. Yeah. The stress, Mark. What are you stressing about? I'm just tired. I really am tired of doing. Sometimes I'm not tired of fixing computers and shit, but I'm tired of dealing with the people that come my way sometimes that. They act like they're the only people on the planet. Dude, I had a major meltdown. If you watch my stream on Saturday, <laughs> what happened? Dude, I was. Really? Yeah. Customer or just the computer you're fixing? 
Um, it was two. It was two computers that I've been working on like over and over and over again in the past three weeks that like ate up all my time and caused me to get backlogged because I couldn't get these two computers fixed. And I got backlogged even incrementally working on other machines and these two were just like, these two computers were just like, yeah, no, up yours. <laughs> That's when I say, I need your help. <laughs> but I gotta tell her a day in advance. Yeah. And she's, she's like, who's better at fixing computers, you or Brittany? Uh, I won't ever answer that question, I'll just let her do it. I, I know better. I know better. You're a little wiser than me, Mark. I have been, I have been privy to the mistakes of others for quite a while. <laughs> You know what got me into, into typing fast was joining AOL chat rooms and just wanted, oh, wanted really? to talk to people when I was a kid, dude. Yeah. And just keep up with conversations and shit. Just type, yeah, yeah. yeah, just wanted to be able to... It was it was really just wanting to, to be able to fire back like an asshole. Like, yeah. did you just say that to yeah. me? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what it was, man. I'm gonna try to call her again, dude. And if she doesn't answer, then Don't I'm just. Worry, man. I hope not because I'm a little tired right now. Nah, just go home, dude. Huh? It's not the time. Okay. Because I've tried calling twice. Tomorrow we'll have to be in a better situation. She didn't answer. Do you have, um...
<laughs> You're funny, Mike. No, yeah, um... No, it's not a big deal. If you don't buy it, it's okay. Because I'm just gonna do the other things. I just, I feel bad about... I, I know you love your phone, man. Okay, so you're gonna get a Note 9 for yeah, a Note 9. Okay. So. so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the phone, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna give it to her because her screen is cracked. We have identical phones, and then I'm gonna take her phone, get it fixed, and then I'm gonna turn around and sell it. Because it'll be paid off this month. So it'll work, it'll work for everybody? Yeah. And then October, I'm getting my Pixel 4. <laughs> dude, I'm so ready. I'm dying for that Pixel 4, dude. I love the Pixel phone. You have no idea. I can get a Pixel. I was looking at the Pixels, man. I think it was like not very much. I mean, it's a Pixel 3, though. Pixel 3 is really good, yeah. Yeah, it's. Dude, the camera on it is stellar. Yeah, no, no, I'll do that. So I'll, I'll clean it out for you. And you don't have to do that. I'll clean it. I can factory reset it myself. Because yeah. that way I can do the Samsung Smart Switch during the initial setup. And I can just migrate all my stuff onto it. Yeah, so don't even worry about that. Cool beans. And then, so tomorrow, I'll bring it to you tomorrow. And then to, to what I'll do is I'll just, I have an old Verizon phone in the house. Right so I'm just going to use the Verizon to my Sprint stuff. <laughs> You should have told. I wish I had known this like a week ago. I had two old androids that I just chucked. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do with them? I threw them away, dude. But they were old, oh. old. I'm talking like probably Note 3 era. Oh, really? Do you still sell them, man? I seen a Note 3 going on offer for 75 bucks. No way. It's, it wasn't a Note. It was like a Android Pebble or some shit. Oh. Yeah. Brittany's designing the shop inside yeah, of the Sim, so give me a second. Let me go look.
Anyway. Man, I would tell I'm gonna have to put that on the shelf, woman. Yeah. Shop space. That desktop behind you, that'll probably have to go back tomorrow, maybe. I think they said they might come by and pick it up, but Is that the jewelry lady? Uh selling it? Are you trying to sell it? No no no, not that one. The the one you just brought. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was a nursing home. Huh? Nursing yeah, home. correct. Yep, the only reason that they decided to use me was because I have prior experience with patient data. And I told them, I was like, I worked for Hospice of the Valley for over a year. Your data isn't going to go anywhere, it's going to be safe. <laughs> Is Hospice of the Valley the ones that got in trouble? Oh, no, that's, that's that the Hacienda trouble. place, okay. yeah. yeah Alright man, well you let me know what you need. If you need me tomorrow, I'll be like way better. Like, I'll have, I'll be in a, like, way better situation. Um, okay. Alright, what time do you have to go over to the place? Which one, the dealership? Yeah. Just whenever, they, whenever I have it. I was supposed to go today, but I don't. So I'll go tomorrow. Okay. But, um, but don't, don't worry. To, if you can't, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. It'll work out. It'll all work out. It always does. Yeah. Oh, and I now got the center coffee, coffee table. Okay, well, go on home, dude. Thank you, buddy. Yep, charge those up, pair it with your phone. Let me know you like them. So, charge those up, pair it with oh, your yeah, phone. Check them out. Like Bluetooth or what? Yeah. Yeah, they're wireless earbuds. Wireless from ear to ear. I told Billy you were grabbing these for me. Yeah. So I was like, hey, grab me some of these. She was like, yeah, she's jealous. She's wanting some. <laughs> We're gonna have to get her to come drive us. You can use them if you go do some deliveries. That's what I need to do. I need to put Lily on some deliveries, man. Take some stress off. There you go. All right, brother. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you, John. This data transfer is gonna take all fucking year. <laughs> Guys, Brittany designed the shop inside of The Sims, and it looks. It looks like the shop. It's creepy. <laughs> it's funny. It's straight up our shop. It's creepy. It's very funny to look at. You want to know what it looks like inside the rest of the shop? The full perspective. I got it. This lady was supposed to. I mean, I've been trying to get a hold of her, so she ain't answering the phone. It's not my fault. She said she's going on a plane tomorrow. And she's not answering the Yay, damn phone now. It actually goes on this table too. Oh, happy day! Oh my God, it's like I haven't fixed the bot yet, Mike, no. Sorry about that.
computer is taking so long to transfer data. Transferring all her pictures right now. It's gonna take forever. Brittany's always pissed off when I write because she's like, your handwriting's better than mine is. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Let's go back to the previous one and do the data transfer for it real quick. I didn't even know we had a retail item section. This is amazing. Actually, hold up. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. All right, this is the one that we started earlier and couldn't finish because we didn't have any adapters to go from USB-C to USB-A.
Oh, she finally discovered it. How how long was that, guys? Two hours? I think it was two hours. I mean it. Well, I was working on The Sims for or shop for two hours. Right. Just a second, guys. I gotta write um, an invoice for the computer that I fixed up front, or that I that I put up front. I'm good, Mike. How are you? data transfer for fabs <sighs> so annoying I hate using adapters but I do like USB-C cables so I guess I won't bitch as much. I should have gotten two of these. So there's one. So I got two USB C cables. Empty box. Two of these. One is gonna need to be for my thumb drive real quick. <laughs> Hopefully not.
They get so mad. This computer stopped booting a Windows VR machine. What? And it's on a 500 gig that I cloned it to, and the 128 is right there, so I just gotta redo the clone. Um, fucking annoying that I have to do it in the first place. Oh, yeah, that is annoying. transfers, I'd really like to do them both at the same time. Okay, so I guess I have to do these one at a time. Right. Oh, shit, there's one right fucking here. Woo! Dude, what is the deal with this computer? It's been charging for fucking ever. Like. been charging forever and it's still fucking hungry for power. It's hungry for power, y'all. I don't have a graphics adapter for it or I'd show you. It's just crazy though, it was charging for like two hours and it barely, but barely came up. This one looks like my, more like my certification. Alright, so we've got the transfer tool to a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And I have two of them, and I'm going to try to do two fabs transfers from two different profiles to the same profile on this computer. I just want to see if it's possible. Something I've never really tried, because I've never really had the need to do, but it was something I was curious if it could actually occur, if Fabs would pick that up. I'm pretty sure it will, because you can specify multiple sources of your, of your data. But, you know, we'll see. We're about to find out. Hey, hey, hey. It says an hour and 49 minutes to full charge. Let me call this customer and make sure he just wants the pictures. Hey Angel, it's Mark. 
Good, how are you? Awesome. Hey, so I have a question for you. Um, my data transfer software wants to transfer the whole profile by default. Do you want me to just transfer the pictures? Okay. All right. Cool. I'll have it do everything. I'll put them both in the same profile. That cool. They'll they'll both be going into the same profile. Okay. Awesome. I'll get it started for you right now. Uh, should be. Yep. So long as everything's good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Bye. I know he said not to install any software on there, but um, I st I still have it. Yes. Oh God, it's taking forever to do that fucking computer. wants to transfer steam I don't think it's gonna work there's too much stuff inside of steam I don't think it's gonna work oh you know what it only has 35 gigs to transfer maybe it will work transfer is going a lot faster than the other one did. This Mac transfer is still going, dudes. It's at fucking 8.7%. It is taking fucking forever. It's like trying to extract data as it goes. Oh my god, it's taking so long. I might just hook this up to another Mac and then try to transfer the data that way. Because it's taking so long, my dudes. I've got another Mac over there that I can make work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to cancel this data transfer on the Mac. so annoying. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go set it up. You guys can keep an eye on this for me.
Okay, so that's doing a direct Mac to Mac transfer. That's doing a old drive to new drive transfer. It's taking forever. This one's doing a two drive to one drive transfer. data transfer again from a compact laptop to a Samsung Chromebook. <sighs> to a motherfucking Chromebook. Alright, that can sit there for now. Customers bought himself an HP Chromebook. I don't know. This isn't the right Chromebook. This is the, the HP. I need to do the Samsung Chromebook. Okay. Oh man, if that bracer bar wasn't there. Stack them facing me. Hey, baby. Huh? If this crossbar wasn't here, this gray one, like if I moved it down to the bottom and opened up the shelves a little bit more, I could do data transfers and then have them facing me. Because, <laughs> like, right now I've got five data transfers going. Or we could just clear this off and then just put them up there. I think that'd be better. Uh, 
Okay. So. Alright. Just move this one off right here. So we're setting this one up for Rodney. He dropped this off on Saturday. It's not bad, it's four days ago. He wanted the data transferred from his old piece of shit, compact Intel Celeron dual core piece of junk to this Chromebook. Now he didn't know what he was getting into initially when he bought a Chromebook. So it's my responsibility as a professional to inform him that this is not a Windows based operating system. This is not exactly what you thought you were getting. You know, he, he told me he got it because it was cheap, and that's not a good reason to ever get a laptop, because if he had come to me, instead of spending $150 on a Chromebook, he could have spent $150 and at least gotten, like, an, a decent i3 computer or something similar. But, anyway, he's never set it up before, so we're going to turn it on for the first time on stream, do a Chromebook setup, do a barrel roll. Do the hokey pokey. Uh, it's things like that that need a regular fridge. There you go. So I guess tomorrow I'll be the owner of a Note 9. That's... That's cool. Whatever, I just need a regular fridge. I can't find the one I need. Get it to work, the chill box. Yeah, this is it. This has to be it. Lab chemicals. This might actually put out. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, that's no problem. Okay, no problem. Uh-huh. Okay, so he has a Gmail account already. So I'm going to sign into this with his Gmail account. So it wants the challenge code real quick. Let me call him real quick so that I can say, hey, Rodney, I need the challenge code being sent to your phone. Hey Rodney, it's Mark with Rad Computers. 
Hey, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a challenge code sent to your phone so that I can do your data transfer. So I need you to look at your phone and press the number 59 for me, please. 59. You look at your phone, it's gonna yeah, look at your phone, it's gonna present you with three three circles with numbers in them. Got it. Thank you so much. I'm doing the data transfer right now. Sorry it's taking so long. I've been super swamped. Correct. Alright, I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. It should be sometime tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Mm, bye bye. All right, so we're gonna enable Chrome Sync, personalize Google services. Gonna go ahead and agree to the Play Store so that he can get access to the apps that he needs. So I don't think that this has a ton of internal storage. It is a cloud-based device, so most of everything that he's going to have on here is going to need to be transferred um, to the cloud. So when you buy a Chromebook, you should automatically get some cloud-based storage space. And so we are going to need to transfer that cloud storage. Gotta find another transfer tool. notifications that are coming down I found it interesting that huh. does the KVM not pick up video unless USB is plugged in or what Oh yeah, I know. Hey, did you get it? Yes, thank you so much, Mark. I'm putting gas right now. I was about to, I was about to run out. <laughs> All right, no, you're good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you so much, brother. I will bring that to you tomorrow. I'll get it all hooked up for you. So okay, make it clean. Wipe no, all my grease off. No, don't don't worry about it. I'll I'll take care of all the wiping and stuff. Cool beans. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. No, but um, so no, this is. So tomorrow should be good, Mark. I'll get up in the morning and um, go take care of what I got to take care of with the dealership. And then I got all day, man. I don't think Lily has anything going on tomorrow. And so I could do as many runs as you need me to do tomorrow, brother. I'm hoping I have some. I've been I've been not super busy. 
I think the or universe is. Else, if you need anything else done too, man, I'd go help you out, dude. So okay. I just want to help help out. You know what I mean? Right on. Yeah, you. Can, I mean, you're more than welcome to come by and help me get organized tomorrow. Cause I think tomorrow I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be almost caught up with stuff, and I'm just gonna need help moving stuff around and and pulling shelves out and putting things back in and like trying to figure out what's trash. I've been holding on to a bunch of stuff, man. I gotta get this shop organized yeah. so I can get back into my flow. I don't, brother. I'm sorry, man. I wish I did. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, no problem. You too. Yeah, I got you, Mark. No, I don't mind helping, man. It's, it's, it was so slow today, dude, that I didn't have shit going on, you know what I mean? So if it's another slow day, man, I'll go out there and help you out, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Um, as long as you don't mind, dude, I talk a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> I could talk to you for a long time, dude. We have a lot in common. Cool That's beans, cool. Brother. All right, man. We'll plan for me to be there with you tomorrow, then. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. I just bought his phone. John's phone. You're getting my old phone. My Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. No, because mine's in immaculate condition. <laughs> Do you remember how your phone broke? Yeah. I was just curious. Okay, let me um, work on this data transfer in the background real quick, guys. It just finished up what it was doing, and I'm going to have to do it again. This doesn't look like it grabbed the other drive info. Just fucking annoying. I don't know how it missed his fucking D drive. Like... It was supposed to do two fucking things. And it only went through one iteration, and it didn't. It didn't do his his drive D to. That's another bug. Yeah, it only did one loop. And I don't. Okay, I was gonna say I don't know which phone that is, but or which drive that is, but I'm guessing it's the one that I can hear going click 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 click. Clutter this place so well and make this look like a computer shop straight up. Oh my god. What? I didn't even know that existed. Apparently, there's a three-tier computer rack. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So, it's transferring some data of his from his old drive. Uh, let me take the drive out of this one real quick. It's fucking data transfer day, dudes. Hey, Gigantors! What's up, man? Long time no see. Home dog, slice, skillet, hot dog. Haven't seen you in a mad minute. Where you been? Where you been, dog? How you been? Where you been, dog? What what it do, dog? Where have you been, Gigantors? Not hanging out with us cool cats. You must be doing the hard work. That's what it is. There's a 120 gig solid state drive in this. And it's one of the ones that I would have used. I, he must have had me do some work for him a long time ago because this is a Kingston SSD now 300 that was created fucking forever ago. All right, uh, let me see here. I've never done a data transfer to a uh, to a Chromebook before, guys.
Alright. Give me a second, guys. I don't want to, like, I don't know what's going to be transferred over, so I want to, like, be smart about what I'm showing on stream, in other words. I really don't think he has much stuff, but I just want to make sure that I'm not going to go, oh god, I'm regretting this decision. <laughs> I'm getting banned, you know? I think it's just family photos and stuff. He's relatively old. Older, I mean. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Alright, cool. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to take his desktop contents Copy those onto the desktop. Can we copy them onto the desktop? I guess not. I guess it doesn't work like that. Oh my god, I just did something so sick to your station, baby. Ah! Ah! Hmm. I guess we have to put it all inside of the my drive, right? Like he had these he had the stuff on there, but anyway. All right. So, he doesn't really have anything on his desktop. It's just a bunch of links to stuff. So, he's got documents, downloads, which can't really be used for anything. And then... I guess the documents is what we're really going to have to transfer over first. Uh, I guess what we could do is we could just go desktop documents What's that? Oh, is that the chair? Let's do uh one red transfer. And then we'll put desktop then documents. What did you expect to find? I used to listen to this all the time. Downloads. He's got programs on here like the Garmin Express installer that don't need to be on here. So I'm just going to delete these so that they're not taking up unnecessary space. Skype setup is not a very large program, so we should be able to take the downloads folder and paste it now. And then... He doesn't download music. He does have some pictures though, so we'll copy and paste this too. Getting some file copy errors here. that's really it. He really, like I said, he really wasn't using his computer for much. So Chromebook is going to be a really good thing for him. Oh, the MSI Nightmare is being shipped out tomorrow. I'm shipping it to uh, California for a repair. I can't do it. 
it's a V core problem with the with the processor. So as much as I would like to say, yeah, I, I can fix it, it's not something that I can do. All right, so you get 100 gigs of data. I thought it was a terabyte, but it's 100 gigs. I mean, that's good. You can get a five terabyte drive and host 50 customers for 100 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, I can't wait for my massage this Saturday. My fucking my back is so disgusting right now. It hurts so bad. I hope there's a way to make a shortcut to his stuff so he can see it. I don't know why. It looks like a server. It's not. <laughs> no, no easy way to share it that way. So he didn't have much on here. Let's go ahead and make his invoice real quick. We'll just call this a data transfer. But since it's a Chromebook and he got it to save money, I'm just gonna charge him 50 instead of 75. Plus he really didn't have that much stuff and his hard drive was easy to get to, so I'm okay with that.
<laughs> I wish there was. <laughs> oh, Gigantor said, who's the topless chick walking around back there? She wasn't even paying attention. Second, I gotta set this down. Okay. Oh, shoot. Freaking tired. Uh, and of course, the computer decided to go to sleep. Just a second. I gotta make sure his um, Chromebook is working correctly. Did you see that? What? It's like a flashing. I just moved my head back really fast, back and forth, so I would have missed it. Just a second, guys. Just gotta verify that the stuff came through correctly. The heck? So I put everything inside his his Google Drive, but now it doesn't look like his Google Drive shows any content. So where did it put it? <laughs> where did it all go? Where in the fuck did it go? It shows three gigs available, but I don't even see his stuff.
Oh, there it goes. Holy shit, I was like, where is his stuff at? Like... They're large files, that's why. <sighs> Where is this other customer at? Alright, good to see you, Gigantors. Thanks for being here, dude. Why is this conversation even happening with this customer? She said, you can fix it, I need it back ASAP because I leave Thursday morning. I just tried to call you back, no luck, because she called at 7.30 at night. I said, I got the message, I'll start the clone right now as I know it'll take a long time and might fail. I'll let you know the results in the morning. Not sure what you mean exactly, but you're referring to the diagnostic. It failed last time because I was told it took a long time and there was no one present when the continue button needed to be pressed. I was also told it ran through another pl it ran it ran through at another place and there was nothing wrong with the computer and the compact driver needed to be reinstalled. Whoever told her that is an idiot. Can't get it to clone across four different softwares, it fails within the first thirty seconds. AMD Catalyst or Windows 10 I'm traveling Thursday morning would like my laptop to be functioning at the level you mentioned when I picked it up when I pick it up in the next two days. That was on Tuesday. I said, hi, it was taking a long time because the drive is extremely old. Cloning has been unsuccessful, so I'm currently installing the operating system back to it and moving the data and reinstalling as many programs as I can. I'll be done with it today. As promised, though, it will be in the evening. And then she says, when you say this evening, what time do you mean? And I've been trying to call her over and over and over and over and over again. She clearly replies to the text messages coming from the system, but when I call her, she doesn't answer the damn phone. Like, I don't understand why this conversation has to be this way. You said you're leaving Thursday morning, so I'm here Wednesday night, working on it. How is that, how is that hard? <laughs> is there a miscommunication somewhere? I'll try to call her again. Hi Ernestine, it's Mark with Rad Computers. I've been trying to call you because you said you needed your computer back by Thursday morning and we are not open until 12 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. I've been trying to get this um, back to you either today or tomorrow morning by an alternative means, either um, delivery from myself or my courier, but I cannot get a hold of you. Please give me a call, 480-252-2114. Thank you. I deal with this like, it's like every other customer does this to me. I need it done right away, and then they just don't answer the fucking phone anymore. Over it. I need it done right away. Oh yeah, sure you do. That's what you say. But, are you actually going to, are you actually going to need it? Is it actually going to be something that you need done like this second, or this instant, or whatever? So anyway, it's just annoying.
It's the wind. Right on. Seems legit. Alright, so the Chromebook now wants to try to copy everything up to the cloud. So what I'll do... to do settings. We need the, the Chromebook to stay on for a little bit. So distracted with the damn door! Where's the power saving feature? Oh, there it is. Alright, there we go. I need it to stay on so it can synchronize with his um, Google account. That way I'm not feeling bad about it. And then I can take this and set it aside. Transfer after data transfer after data transfer.
last one goes here. so that I don't have screaming customers. <laughs> Alright, we got a Chromebook. That's the, this HP right here. Maybe it should be above that. That would be cool. <clears throat> this one was checked in. Monday. All right. Okay, so it's checked in Monday, and the touchpad is doing something really weird. It just gets stuck. So you you press down on it, and it doesn't pop up unless you unless you like bend it. So. Yeah, like it's just not popping back up again. Let's watch her open this store up. Oh, she's talking to someone in the Sexist. It's true. It's how people see it. So we'll probably have to hire Eric Lewis first or Jefferson Pass. Which one first, baby? I hate the name Lewis. Huh? I hate the name Lewis. I hate the name Lewis.
He's gonna get paid thirty-one dollars an hour. Wait, his handiness is really low. No, I'm not hiring him. He doesn't know much about handiness, and we need handiness to be high. So this mark is flex. He knows what's up. All right, so we got the touchpad out, and even with it out, it's still doing the same thing. So. It really kind of just comes down to the plastic not pushing, it's not springing back up again for some reason. It could be dirty, but... Fucking HP riveted this whole fucking thing in, except for the actual oh touchpad this itself. This but then they plastic riveted behind the touchpad. So what the fuck is the point, HP? Like. I mean, this dude said if he couldn't get it fixed, he was just gonna throw it away, so. That's what it comes down to, HP. Some fucking throwaway bullshit that you guys make because you're assholes. really comes down to these two plastic tabs just not really pressing forward as hard anymore. Because these are the spring tabs that are used to push it back up. So I mean, what, you, what we could do is we could just build something up behind that piece right there to help it push upward. So the first question is, does that sit on top of anything? This is so crazy, man. If our shop was that It does. It sits on top of the battery. So. Kind of busy. So it sits on top of the battery. What we could do is it's actually not a bad idea. Is I'm gonna use some hot glue. I'm just gonna make a little dot on each side and I'm going to build it up and when it presses on against the battery it's not going to be hard, it won't puncture it, but it should be enough to press those two buttons back up if I can find my damn hot glue. Nice. Discuss shopping preferences? That's so cool! This is like Mark, he's doing Mark's job. That's awesome, Mark is also doing Mark's job. <laughs> Where the fuck is my hot glue gun? Like, I just bought this fucking thing. And I've only used it once or twice, so where is it? That guy looks interested in that product, dude. You better jump on that. What the fuck? Oh, here it is. Alright, 
Yeah, so we're gonna build up something that kind of looks like this, but we're gonna put it underneath the spring clips. so that it cools quickly because if we don't put it on low it'll cool too slowly and then it'll liquefy and then it's just going to become a pain in the ass to try to Wait, fix to him. He's not working right now. This, it won't let me chat with him. Wow. I do need to find the other uh, I do need to find the other hot glue sticks that you gave me Nice little hot glue foundation right here. here. Really? Maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he just wants to be a tech to work in the back. You don't say. Yeah. It really doesn't bother me that she's playing that game. Because there's, there's really no work for her to do right now, so I'm just using the opportunity to make fun of her. Dude, I just told you what to do. Yeah, thank you. Maybe he's smoking. Alright, so that is our ghetto-fied resourceful solution here. Let's hope he it works. Okay, so we've built up two little dots. We used the heat on slow. Honestly, that feels pretty good. Okay, so you can see you can see here how it sticks out. It's literally like a three millimeter stick out. So we'll try this. Can't turn it off because the keyboard is built into the fucking the ribbon cable that I'm trying to do. There we go. All right, so we really shouldn't even have to put this down. Hey, look, it fucking worked. God dang, that's fucking fantastic. Alright. 
Eh, I'll just charge in like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Just a couple of good drinks. <laughs> real test is, will it continue working after we seal it? This is what it means to be resourceful, guys. It's not the factory fix, but... Probably isn't a good factory fix. Maybe it's how much they're shopping. Or how much, yeah, how much they're shopping or trying to figure out what they want. I don't know, man. That's wild. The kid has no glue. I mean, you know, because we haven't talked to the kid, maybe. Yeah. Oh, good. He cleaned. Good job. Awesome. Let me text Jesse and let him know his is done. Alright, did he leave a DC jack or a charger? No. Okay, cool.
added some hot glue to it. The tablet wasn't for sale! <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, well done. Where did he go? Is he like bringing the tablet out to the person's car? Where are you going, bro? Oh my god. Alright, let's close the store. I thought that was... Dude, I thought that was lightning, but that's, that can't be fucking lightning. It's gotta be the fucking... Oh, it is lightning. Jesus, I just saw like... Lightning flash for like a good three seconds. Just blah, 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 blah. This computer is done. It charges up all the way without any problems. Um. I want to go have a drink. You want to go to Applebee's? Or Um, I want to go have a drink, so do you want to go to Applebee's or do you want to go to Mellow? Mellow.
But yeah, she has this really cheap house, and so now she has apparently a computer shop <laughs> because that's what I decided to build in the same in this save file. So good for her, I guess. I had to cheat to get her the money to buy her shop because apparently in her shop the simoleons are re is really high in, in, in a sim world. It's like very expensive to buy her shop. <laughs> It's like more expensive than the freaking generations house I built. And it's it doesn't even have two stories to it. I'm so utterly confused about all that, but it somehow managed to be that expensive. <laughs> open the store while not in the store? Oh no, she has to actually go to the venue. Yeah, they need an on-site manager. I'm the on-site manager. She's the manager. Okay, that data transfer, the 86 gigs, is finally done on the s fucking computer with the C50, AMD C50 processor. Why would anybody want this fucking processor? Seriously. I can throw away laptops that are worth more than this. Wicked lightning.
like the head, it opens up a magical portal. And I forgot how to, I mean, I just recently learned about it, so I have no idea how to do it. But that is the special treat uh, I was looking for. I was like, where is it out here in the world? I never can seem to locate it. And that's The transfer job is done on this one. Took forever. Took forever. This drive is fucking awful. I've never. <sighs> anyway. This is the one. This is the reason why we're here so late today, and she's not answering the fucking phone. I need it back ASAP. Okay. There's one more that I really want to do tonight. I can't believe she was actually using this freaking thing. last one that I want to look at is from the lady that comes in four times a day and calls me four times a day and then shows up when I tell her not to come in. I gave her this fucking computer. Gave it to her. Gave it to her because her old computer was a piece of shit. It was worse than this AMD C50. It was a fucking netbook. 
and it had a it had a problem with it and I don't remember what the issue was but it wasn't something we could fix that oh it was the uh, the motherboard was bad the motherboard was bad So, this is the computer that I gave her. It's an HP EliteBook 745. It's got Windows 7 Pro. You would think that HP wouldn't make a fucking piece of shit, but they did. Again. I'm bringing it back because the fucking fan won't... Like, it's, it's nearly... It's just so fucking loud, is what she said. In better words. So, I get to work on this free laptop that I gave her. It's so fucking annoying. You try to do something nice for somebody and they just fucking... They don't understand. They keep going with it. They just keep fucking going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Anyway, we need to clone her fucking hard drive. I did tell her to come back for that anyway, but I'm so fucking... I'm annoyed because this computer from HP isn't supposed to be a piece of shit. It's supposed to work correctly without any fucking issues. But since HP makes such terrible fucking products, it just rip roars and is just loud all the fucking time. Seriously, all the fucking time. So, you know what I could be doing right now is I could be charging my fucking phone. This computer shouldn't be fucking rip-roaring so loud for so fucking long. It really shouldn't. Let's see, this is T6. This must be T9s. It's just obnoxious. Like, it's, it's not just her. It's just the whole fucking... This is why I know better than to try to do favors for people. Because it's always the one fucking favor that you do. That fucking gets you more fucking frustrated because... Now you want, Now I'm doing... This isn't the first fucking time I've had to look at her computer either. She brought it back, the problem wasn't occurring. She calls me all the fucking time. She doesn't stop. It's not her fault that she needs a computer to work. It's working, it's just fucking loud. What can we do about it, HP? What can we do about it? Why is this fucking computer's processor so goddamn noisy? In this particular build, there's a thousand goddamn screws. I should just find a different one and give it to her.
Why HP ever built a fucking elite book with an AMD processor that before Ryzen came out is just insane. Why? Why would you do that? And I'm tired of fucking spam bots hitting me up on fucking Google Hangouts. I don't, I've never ever used Google Hangouts. I had a customer get mad at me because I wasn't replying to Google Hangouts and I was like, what the fuck? I don't even use Google Hangouts. Why are you trying to message me on a fucking app that I don't use? Well, it says you're online. And I'm like, I don't know how to turn that off. Well, it says you're online. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call you at 911. That's not my phone number. There you fucking go. What do you want? Jesus Christ. Hey, what's up, Darkest? Welcome back. Some people just don't get it. It's like the hamster wheel doesn't fucking spin for them all the time. screws under here 2 HP. I swear to God, if there are, I'm gonna fucking chuck this laptop through the glass and just let people rob my store tonight. Alright, whatever. Better not be a fucking screw under there, I swear to God. I mean, it's fucking clean, unless this thing wasn't sitting correctly, which there's no way it wasn't. Thermal paste. See, the thing is that pisses me off is I took her fucking computer, her other computer apart to fix the DC jack, and then her fucking monitor wasn't working correctly. That's what it was. Her monitor wasn't working correctly. She dropped it, and the DC jack broke, and the, and the screen started glitching afterwards. So I felt bad for her, because she said she was a med student and all this other shit. And I was like, alright, well, I have another computer that I usually use as a loaner. I'll, I'll just give it to you. It's better than what you're using. I haven't used it in a long time. I'll just give it to you. So I switched her hard drive in it, got it to boot, but then fucking computer is too goddamn loud. It's fucking annoying. Just 
completely fucking obnoxious. Alright, so where to go? I was just holding it. I just recently watched this, um, this crazy thing from the Weather Channel, and it was a video about a woman getting struck by lightning while holding a pan while doing the dishes with her, like, six months old baby, like, right by her feet, and, like, her kid came in to, like, ask her a question, and she got literally struck by lightning, through, came through the ceiling, and electrocuted her as she was passing her pan from one hand to the other. Because it was, like, the old, like, her house, their house apparently was, like, the tallest building around where the storm hit, and so that's why it just targeted her house and, and her. I mean, and now I'm, like, freaked out by lightning even more so than I've ever been in my whole life. And I'm, like, freaked out about being around glass or, like, like all the old wives' tales whenever a storm happens. Like, I want to turn off all electricity, just, like, hide in the center of the house. But the, seriously, that story messed me up. Mm. It's fucking creepy. Okay. It is, dude. Electrocuted in your own house? I didn't think that was possible. I recently had that thought pass my head, and randomly it showed it up in my YouTube news feed. Because I had that thought in my head. I was like... Has anyone ever gotten struck inside their own house? I was, in my own head, I thought, like, I'm safe. I'm safe inside my house. One of my viewers was struck by lightning in his house. Seriously? Yeah, but I can't remember who it was. Do you guys remember who it was that was struck by lightning? It, like, went in through his computer cable and, like, electrocuted him. No, not, not, like, but shocked him pretty badly. Like, he had burns and shit. He had to go to the hospital. Oh, I remember, I remember oh. the story, but I don't remember who it was. I just saw, like... Five or six strikes with Yes, I, that's what I've been seeing all night, which is why I kept going, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck. Okay, yeah, well, it's getting, like, more lightning-y. It's, it's monsoon season, that happens. You have a better chance of winning the lottery than you do getting struck by lightning. So if you get struck by lightning, go buy a lottery ticket. So that takes care of the first issue, which was help, help the the fan is too fucking loud problem. There. Don't fucking care. I guess I really didn't need to take up all these fucking screws right here, but... I mean, this laptop feels nice and sturdy. It would be a great fucking laptop if it would just behave. And I still need to clone the, SS the, the drive to an SSD, that's why she brought it back. Because her old drive is from her old computer that was dropped, and I was like, I don't think your computer's gonna last much longer on that drive, we gotta clone it. And she actually took my advice, she came in like she was supposed to. I don't know. I shouldn't really be bitching about that, I guess. Just fucking annoyed at everything else. I do remember this one being right here. This one being right here.
hate fucking working for free. Fucking hate it. Especially when I basically gave this fucking computer away for free. I was gonna sell this computer for 300 bucks. I fucking sold it to her for less than the cost of a DC jack replacement, including the part. In all actuality, I only made about 50 bucks on the deal, I think. And now, I'm eating the 50 because I gotta support this fucking piece of shit. Because HP sucks. Fuck HP. Parental advisory. Fuck HP. Don't buy your fucking children fucking HP laptops. Don't buy them fucking HP desktops. Don't buy them fucking HP omens. Don't buy them HP printers. Don't buy them HP scanners. If you continue to buy HP products, you are literally spreading herpes throughout the world. No more HP products. Stop buying HP products. HP is the worst fucking company out there for making computers. Go buy a fucking Apple if you want to buy an HP. If you want to buy something that looks nice, go buy a fucking Apple. That's the only fucking time you're ever going to hear me say that. HP can't even make business grade computers correctly. Why would anybody want to buy a fucking HP when they can go out and buy something that actually works like a fucking Lenovo or Dell Latitude? If you're buying a computer because it looks nice, you shouldn't be buying a fucking computer at all. <laughs> Computers are one of the very rare instances where it should be function over form. <laughs> or come see an expert! I can build you and or tell you what to get. I can build you a computer that will look nice and function well won't cost you an arm and a leg and will outrun anything that you can get at a retail store for the exact same price. Or don't, you know, like, listen to the advice of the people that fucking don't make good purchasing decisions for computers. You can do that too, you know, whatever floats your fucking boat. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. Pretty sure this this has to be an EF uh, UEFI mode, so I'm gonna put my thumb drive into this mode so we can clone the drive over real quick.
Let's clone it to an SSD. computer in the fucking background is still fucking cloning, man. What the fuck? You know when I was in high school, they used to have computer repair competitions? Like, you'd go, you could go to nationals competing in computer repair shit. <sighs> it was in a vocational group called VICA. In my sophomore year, I got invited to go to VICA. And I had to compete against... I was like the only sophomore there. There were like 60 fucking seniors there competing for computer repair shit. And it was, it was nuts. I failed the fucking written test. It was all old shit with dip switches and all that shit. Like at the time, I knew a fair amount on how to fix stuff. And I got most of the exam stuff right, but there were a bunch of old shit that I didn't know how to answer at the time. And I've since gone back and brushed up on it just to make sure that I could do it. Yeah, see? See? It's nice and quiet. Exactly the way it fucking should be. This computer will honestly operate really well. Did I write her an invoice yet? Yeah, I did. Resolving this fucking ticket. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna move this computer to the front. I've got to put one of her softwares back on there.
twelve dollars in during our span of twelve to twelve to six, and we only have to pay the total wages of our employee of one hundred eighty six dollars. All right, I just gotta wait for this program to install and then I'm heading out. In the meantime, since I'm waiting for it to install, we might as well just continue plowing through and looking at another one. Tomorrow we have at least two clones to do. Cool, yeah, so tomorrow we will have several to work on, but most everything is doing good. That's one that doesn't require my thumb drive, so...
Uh, man, today's Wednesday, right? Just getting around to Monday stuff. But we're making good progress. Um, this one has a cracked screen, so I mean it's it's pretty obvious that it's cracked. An HP 2000. I fucking hate HPs, but I will hand it to them. This is one of the easiest screens to take off. I think my record for replacing one of these is eight minutes. <laughs> I just hate these fucking stickers that they put on here. It'd be better to use a, um, it would be better to use a razor blade to take these off. She cracked it good. Hey! What's up, Chief? Chief is cute. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Or tonight? With this monsoon going on. why I'm curious to check it because if I do I'll just this is an HP WM2000 or M2000WM it's a fucking it's one of the worst laptops I think HP has ever made this one has a C50 in it too as far as I know and it came with Norton internet security for 60 days 60 days of that torture 60 days, bro. <sighs> you know, I've actually not heard that before. Has problems. I'm going to use that. MSI is making shit intentionally. HP is has problems. Very true. I can't stand HP. Number one hated brand on this channel. I'm so tired of fixing their stupid shit all the time, all the fucking time. I've got a compact right here, an HP Elite book, and a fucking HP Pavilion. What the fuck? God, I hate this brand. Stop putting this fucking brand. Just stop sending the money. Seriously, just stop. You're literally just better off buying an old laptop and then sh and then throwing the other five hundred dollars down the drain. Just mail it to me. I'll I'll fucking add it to my list of prepayment. You'll get store credit for it. You, I'll tell you what to buy. You want to buy a thousand dollar laptop? I'll tell you to buy a four hundred dollar gently used quad core fourth or fifth gen computer from another manufacturer. It'll save you six hundred, and then you can pay me an additional. 400 in prepaid store credit for repairs and then you'll save 200 and you'll have a killer laptop that will outlast the HPs that you could get. How's that sound?
while. I was hoping that we would have that screen in stock. It's a really old, thick screen, so I'm not surprised that we don't have it. It's a really weird size. It's a 15.6 WH4 QL. Okay, so it's an LP. 156WH4TLQ2. It's 50 bucks. You can have it fixed on Friday. Does she have a solid state drive? It's the next question. Before we fix this piece of shit, I have one requirement. She has to have a solid state drive, and she's been here before, I know we've done some work for her. Did she opt for the solid state drive when we recommended it? That's the next question. No, she did not. So she probably needs to get her drive swapped out too. Because it's Windows 8. I guarantee you this computer has a drive in it that's like five years old. Hitachi, July 2013. Oh, I was wrong. It's six years and two months. Since we're basically into September. So. Should she have us fix it, or should she get one that doesn't suck ass for a living? Tell her what? I'll sell her one for 400 if she lets me keep the old one. Oh, God, it's 10 o'clock at night, dude. Seriously? Holy shit, you missed it. I saw it. <laughs> All right. Let me message her real quick. Okay. Oh man, I'm fucking tired. Right on. Yeah, man, I appreciate you being here, dude. I am a professional computer repair person. I have the highest rated computer repair store in the state of Arizona. 
Probably because I work myself to death. <laughs> like, it's 10 p.m. right now, and I've been up since fucking 8 o'clock going to meetings and working so that the customers would have computers back in, you know, a fair amount of time. <laughs> I'm insane. I don't know why I do this. And I put my fiancé through it, like... She's got to be ready to kill me. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you dropping that follow. Um, we are going to uh, head out. But you're welcome to join us on Discord. Um, I'm not there often right now because I'm just super slammed with work, and then when I get home, I don't want to do anything. I think the bot might be broken, but since you dropped that follow, uh, I will send it over to you uh, myself when I get back to the house. So, yeah. Here, you know what? Let me just let me just turn the bot back on. The bot is, at, it's running at my house, and I'll bet the computer didn't update. Now it's just sitting there. Give me just a second. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I updated it to Windows 10. And we need to we need to move the bot over from DeepBot over to Streamlabs bot because DeepBot isn't in production anymore. All that fucking money they were making five dollars a month for memberships and they're not fucking updating it anymore. I'm done paying them. I'm done. I'm out. Alright, yeah, give me a second. Oh, fucking the computer at my house is like so slow right now. What the fuck, man? Come on. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it got hit with a surge, and now it's fucking just going crazy. Here, I'll create a manual invite for you. There you go. We'll fix the Discord bot. I gotta reset it, but I don't wanna reset it remotely because doing that releases all of my remote clients from the connection and then it's just a big pain in the ass to try to get everything reconnected. Alright, but we did get a lot of work done today. We cleared... How many invoices did we make today? Holy fuck! We made one, two, three, four, five, six invoices. My pleasure, thank you. So we made six invoices, um, released the seventh one, and then closed up like three tickets that didn't need to be done. So we did at least ten, which is good. It's about average. I would say we could have probably done more if I'd had more space, more transfer tools, this shit cleaned up. But we're almost down to the end of the list, which is fucking amazing, because right now we have a ton of tickets in here. We have... 25 tickets in here right now and the ones that need to be touched uh, we have one two three four five six seven eight nine one uh, one of those nine is actually almost done already so we've got several I'm, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow will be a great day we'll get a bunch of work done and then It'll be good, but Chief is cute. Thank you so much for being here. All my other viewers that are normally here, we usually have a crew of about 20 that watch, but it is pretty late right now, and some of them are on the East Coast, so um, I appreciate everybody that is still here. I'm going to go have a drink and watch the lightning go crazy, so I appreciate you guys for being here. Shit, I can't fucking leave until this stupid program is finished installing. It's still fucking going on that AMD C50 piece of shit laptop. Damn it. Oh, now it sounds like it's gonna rain. Now it sounds like it's raining. All 
Okay. Give me a second. Next one. Oh, never mind, it's done. I'm out, bitches. <laughs> oh god, I'm tired. Alright guys. We are done. D-O-N. E. Right on man. Whoo! Restore is a hot success. <laughs> Good, alright, let's get the fuck out of here and go drink. Alright. Darkest. Thank you so much. Um, I have your thumb drive, and I will be working on it tomorrow. I'm not going to have time to make it tonight, but I do have it, and no, I don't have it. I will order you a metal one. I'm going to order you an all-metal 128 gig uh, drive, just like mine, so that you don't lose it. You can tie it to your keys with a key ring, and it'll last you at least a year. Like in my shop, I've had this for over a year and a half, and that's crazy. Actually, I think I've had this particular one for almost two years, which is nuts. So I'm going to buy you one of these. They're very inexpensive, and I'll load it for you using the custom scripts that I created for you that'll place shortcuts and all that shit um, on your stuff. The rest of you guys, thank you so much for being here. Dark Man, Darkest Nights, Chief is Cute, um, Lurkers, and fellow Arizonans. I appreciate all you guys for being here. We'll be here tomorrow to get some more work done. I won't be streaming until noon Arizona time because I have a BNI meeting tomorrow. And then I gotta go to Staples, and then I gotta go pick up another computer from iPriority, and then I gotta go to deliver that desktop over there, and I gotta go do a bunch of other shit. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna go drink. Peace out. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs>